Yo, what's going on guys, this is Soul Striker, and today I'm going to show you guys how to upload a custom map or just another world to your Minecraft server. This video was requested by Luck asking if I could make a tutorial of how to upload a custom world to your server. So you'll be needing two things for this tutorial, one is a Minecraft server, and you will also need the plugin called Multiverse Core. That is what we're going to be using for this tutorial to import our world into our server. So that is pretty much all you need. And you also need a world, obviously. So this is going to be a full world that you guys can upload. So I found this one on Planet Minecraft. It looks pretty cool, custom terrain and everything. So I will leave a link down in the description if you guys want to go download this for yourself. So as you see, we have this little page over here. It says download a Minecraft world. Go ahead and click that and uh, we should get put to a media fire link and then go ahead and click download all right so after we have downloaded this uh it usually downloads for maps usually come in a dot rar file or a zip file in this case it's a dot rar file if you guys don't have a program called renwar definitely highly recommend you download it because then you can open these files so i have it installed already and uh, if you guys have downloaded it and have ignored this like license, just hit exit and you're good to go. So as you see, we have our folder called 4K and this contains all our world files. So after you have downloaded everything, you want to go to your server, either home hosted or using FileZilla so you can transfer the files from your computer to wherever your server is being held. If you guys don't know how to make a home hosted server, they will be on the right hand screen now, a little card that you can click and it will take you to a video of how to make your own server. So after you have your world file right here, go ahead and just drag it to your basically it's called a your root folder and this is where everything is stored so just drag it right there and this is our main world so we got our world world nether and world end and then we have a world called 4k if you guys have downloaded a world and it's like spaced out to two names for example the best if it's spaced out like that you need to make it either one word or use underscores so because the reason for this is because when you're importing it with the plugin called multiverse it won't recognize it if it's spaced out so just ignore pretty much everything with the spaces and just rename it to one thing so i'm just gonna call it best so now we have renamed it best so that is one word so it will work so make sure you guys are using a plugin called multiverse for your server and that way you can import the world so let's go in game all right, so to join your home hosted server, the IP is called a local host, and that just basically tells you, hey, the server is on your local host, and you just go ahead and join your server. And then now we are in the game. So this is our main world called World, and if we do MV list, as you see, we don't have our world called Best that we just uploaded. So now we can have, now we can go ahead and import it. So do Envoy Import and the name of your world. So as I said, it's usually best to name it one word instead of like spaces. So as you see, we had it test, and then if you hit that, it gives you different options that you can have. So if it was specifically like a another world or a flat world or in the world you can tell it hey it's gonna be an end world or another world but this one is just like a normal vanilla world except it's really customized so just go ahead and import best and then normal so now it's completing and uh, we'll go ahead mvtp best and that will just teleport us to that world so go ahead and teleport there as you see we are in this custom terrain world and it looks amazing guys this is pretty cool so this is a fully customized world you can go download it on planet minecraft and it does look pretty cool i really like that it has like little caves and ravines and everything which is pretty awesome so this is how you import worlds using multiverse and how to upload custom worlds to your server and we have like a whole row of potatoes it looks like and some wheat over there so this is how you import worlds using this uh multiverse core plugin and hope you guys did enjoy if you have any questions for me or anything else related to this plugin feel free to put it in the comments below i will see you guys next time peace